Formally, we define a propositional net, or prop net, as a directed bipartite graph consisting of propositions alternating with connectives. In this case, there are six propositions with the round circles labeled A, B, P, Q, R, and S. And there are four connectives, with the gray and black nodes in the graph shown here. In basic prop nets, there are four types of connectives, and they're all present in this case. There is an AND gate on the upper left, an inverter on the upper right, an OR gate on the lower right, and a transition on the lower left. Propositions are typically partitioned into three classes. Input propositions those with, are those with no inputs. Base propositions are those with incoming arcs from transitions. And view propositions are those with incoming arcs from connectives other than transitions. In our example here, nodes A and B are input propositions, node S is a base proposition, and nodes P, Q, and R are view propositions. An input marking is a function from the input propositions of a propositional net to Boolean values. A base marking is a function from the base propositions of a propositional net to Boolean values. And a view marking is a function from the view propositions of a propositional net to Boolean values. And we use the word marking to refer to a combination of an input, base, and view marking. Now, given a prop net, an input marking and a base marking determine a unique view marking for that prop net. This is based on the types of the connectives leading into the view propositions. The output of an inverter is true if and only if its input is false, for example. The output of an AND gate is true if and only if all of its inputs are true, as suggested by the second table. And the output of an OR gate is true if and only if at least one of its inputs is true. Transitions behave just like AND gates, except that there is a one-step time delay. The output occurs one step after the inputs. Here's an example. Supposing we had an input marking that assigned the node A, the value 1, and the node B, the value 0. That's the node in the upper left and the down node in the lower right. And suppose we had a base marking that assigned S, the value 1, that's the one in the lower left. Then the output of the AND gate would be a 1, the output of the inverter would be a 0, the output of the OR gate would also be a 0, and at this point we then have values for all of the view propositions in the prop net. Now let's move on to the next step. Supposing once again the input is, is has A being 1 and B being 0. What's the value of our base proposition on this step? Since it's the output of a transition, its value on this step is the same as the value of that transition's input on the preceding step. In this case, the transition input was a 0 on that preceding step, as we just saw, and so the value is 0 on this new step. As before, we can compute the view marking corresponding to this new input marking and this new base marking. In this case, since the second input to the AND gate is now 0, the output is 0. The output of the inverter becomes 1, and the output of the OR gate is 1 as well. Now, if we leave the inputs the same for subsequent steps, the prop net will go on alternating this way. If input A ever becomes false, it will stop alternating. However, the alternation will begin again as soon as it is set to true.